Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Usually, a wind tunnel test is something conducted inside a special chamber done by a group of technicians, and both the facility and the professional help come at a significant cost. But the latest technology preview available from Autodesk, called Project Falcon, gives you a peek into the future. The future where you may be performing many of your basic wind tunnel tests digitally inside a computer. As a preview, the technology is currently free to download and use. It is supposed to complement surfacing and industrial design packages like Autodesk Alias, but it's a standalone module. The way it works is quite simple. You launch the software, you load the design you want to use, maybe a plane or a vehicle, as an STL file. Then you start tweaking the parameters like wind velocity, angle, and the direction of its travel. The interface is very clean and straightforward. It's easy to change the orientation of the analysis plane by the axes at which it is displayed, or change the way the results are displayed. You can, for example, change the results to show air pressure instead of wind velocity, or show displacement shapes in 3D. The outcome of your wind tunnel test can be shared as a video file, exported as AVI, for a set amount of time, then saved to your hard drive. There are a few settings you can control for how the AVI is recorded, for example, or how the model and the analysis planes are displayed. The results are displayed in real time, or near real time, if your computer happens to be running a slower processor. But it's a surprisingly lightweight program. It doesn't require a high-performance computing cluster to run, for example. So is this technology a replacement for a serious specialized wind tunnel test in a physical world? Perhaps not, but it gives you a way to quickly check how your surfaces and curvatures in the design would affect in the real wind tunnel test. So you can at least steer clear from the disastrous shapes and get your design well within what you'd like to see in the real world test. As it happens, I happen to have a model of my hat produced from a collection of 2D images in Autodesk Technology Preview called 123D Catch. When I used it, it was called PhotoFly. I might try to run a wind tunnel test on my hat. I'm not sure I want to make the results public, however, because no matter what the outcome is, I don't intend to revise the shape of my hat. I like it the way it is. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine.